Keegan Nixon with Bearcat Journal here with linebackers coach Court Braswell. Coach, what's this kind of experience been like your first year here at Camp Higher Ground? Oh, man, it's a tremendous experience, man. Just any time you get to get away and just really isolate yourself from the rest of the world and just focus on football, um, it makes a, you know it makes everything just mean that much more. And so it's a tremendous opportunity for us as a team and us as coaches to really bond together um, and just really be immersed in this culture and this football program. And, man, it's just a tremendous, it's been a tremendous thing for us. So you were at Army the past two years. Um, before that, you had work with Coach Satterfield at Louisville. Um, what was that kind of moment like? Did he give you a phone call kind of asking to come back and coach with him here at Cincinnati? Yeah, it was. You know, it was uh, – you know, I think he was supposed to call me on a Tuesday night, and I didn't hear from him. So I was like, "Well, that's uh, that." He called me Wednesday morning at 7:30. So, I mean, just I just have such a tremendous amount of respect for him. Even though I was a high school head coach, you know, following App State and the things they did at that program and what he's done in his career. I mean, he's a person I know truly cares about me, cares about my family, cares about our players, and that's somebody you want to work for. And I've been fortunate in my career to work around a lot of coaches that have been that way. But Coach Satterfield is just an unbelievable uh, human being. He's completely genuine. He's authentic. He's warm. He's understanding, and he loves this program and loves these kids, man. That's somebody you always want to be around and be attached to. What was your relationship like with Brian Brown kind of heading into coming here to Cincinnati? Man, you know, it's it's um, it's so interesting you ask that. B has always felt like a mentor to me. He's felt like one of my closest friends. Um, he, he, he's always been a person I can go to about anything on and off the field, man. He's got a tremendous spirit, a great knowledge for the game, a great passion. And for me, I feel like I can be the half the coach that he is, half the father he is, half the person he is. I'll be doing all right for myself. Uh, so what's your kind of philosophy for your linebackers? What's the number one thing that they have to have in their mindset and their character and how they play the game to have success? You know, there's a mentality to it. You know, you certainly want to be the best unit on the field. You want to be the best unit in the country. But I always tell the guys, I say, you know, the team looks like the defense and defense looks like the inside linebackers. And I feel that the team looks like the inside linebackers. So being the heart and core of that defense, man, if we play well, it always gives us a chance to play really well defensively. And so that's something that we kind of take personally. It's something that we talk about constantly. We don't shy away from mistakes that we make. We have, we want the difficult tasks. We want the difficult assignments. We want to have be in a, a position to make those difficult plays. And so um, there's a constant pressure on them that I try to apply on them and myself about mm -hmm. being at our absolute best all the time, especially when our best is required. And so um, there's a lot of situations we feel like are there's difficult things that we're asked to do that we love that we gotta yeah. we gotta execute those things and so uh, they're taking on they're taking on that challenge some days are better than others coaching and playing but uh, that's part of higher ground man it's just continuous growth so we seem to be handling pretty well deshaun pace has kind of been that defensive back linebacker hybrid role how much are you working with him to kind of teach him the ropes more of that linebacker side of things i wish i could take credit for how good deshaun pace is at football <laughs> i wish i could and if he sees us, I wish I could, Deshaun. But, you know, it takes a village. I think we all have little things that everybody says to every position group, man. But Coach Brown has Deshaun in his room and does a tremendous job of getting him prepared. Mm -hmm. um, I deal with him more when we do dime stuff because I coach the dime back or something. We do some of our dime package stuff. And so there's certainly constant interactions in the run game and the passing game and things like that, man. But he's a tremendous guy. His best football is still ahead of him, I think. Jack Dingle is a guy that's been talked about a lot for the amount of speed he has and mixed with that size. What's What have you seen from him and how much are you getting to know him being that guy that was here already when you got here? Man, this is just constant improvement. Like I think the thing with Jack is, is every day he's obsessed about it. We have D-staff meeting. He's texting me, what time is the D-staff meeting? He's sitting in the meeting. He's taking notes. He's asking questions. And he's become a student of the game and is honing his craft on a daily basis. Man, that says a lot in this day and age. Man, there's so many distractions. To see a guy that's literally obsessed with getting better. I mean, every opportunity he has to meet extra, to come to more meetings, to, to be around his teammates, man, he's always doing those things. So I guess, I'm, um, I guess you know, for a guy that hasn't played a ton of snaps of football at linebacker, just the professionalism, just the maturity that he exposes, just the determination to be better, man. It's, it's, it's really encouraging to see in kids. It's really encouraging to see in one of your players. And I, I, mean, I think the sky's the limit for him. Dorian Jones follows Brian Brown and Satterfield here from Louisville. What have you seen from him and what are your expectations for him this season? You know, what's interesting is Dorian and I had a relationship prior to this because Dorian came to Louisville when I was there. So we okay. were recruiting Dorian. So I've gotten to know him really well. But, you know, I think it's for him just the adaptability, being in a new environment, being around a new team and emerging himself as a leader and the guy that can be counted on. Um, he's excelling his game. He's, he's, he's uh, fi uh, fine tuning his game and doing some things with his game that um, we're just getting better, you mm -hmm. know. I think the biggest thing for him is the leadership role and being the guy in our room and, and helping other guys grow and having a mastery of the scheme. And he's just doing a great job with his maturity, his growth as well. Gotcha.